The first time I had ping is I kept singing ping it, ping it, ping it at the top of my voice. You can't. What got you kicked out of a nightclub? My word, we all know this is going to be good, don't we? A better you starts today. Thank you so much, everybody who contributed. As always, make sure that you check the community post frequently and make your contributions. These contributions, you would have to guess, are going to be extremely honest. And thank you so much for being so, because I don't want to ever admit my reasons for getting kicked out of a nightclub, which I believe every man on earth has been at some point. I think that if you're a woman, here's my theory before we look at these comments, I reckon that you could piss in the middle of the dance floor. Toilet's ages away. <laughs> Yep, just been instructed to ignore that and oh my god, that guy's not using a coaster and OH JESUS I SHOULDN'T HAVE IGNORED THAT BUT- Let's see if that theory, unlike the bladder of the woman in the previous skit, holds up. First comment! I was refused entry into a nightclub in Orange. <laughs> so you must have been naked. I cannot imagine a nightclub in Orange having a strict fashion code. I was already drunk from dinner. Trying to hold out my driver's license to show the bouncer, I accidentally snapped it in half in front of him. Yeah, if there was ever a sign that you weren't safe to drive home, I think that might be it. I fell asleep sitting upright in the smoker's area with a vodka Red Bull in each hand. True story. You were still in there! The bouncer was just staring at you go. Oh, so we got one of those Lady Justice statues in here and who'd have guessed the Red Bull weighs more? Nice statue class, I've got a shape. I've got a good one. You better, mate. Otherwise, I would have spent 30 seconds of my life that, let's be honest, I'd be doing exactly the same thing anyway. Play on. One of my friend's boyfriend wasn't allowed into the club because he was wearing shorts. On his head? Yeah. Took my pants off to do this. And <laughs> here's the other thing. Look at this. Can't be bothered to put it back on. Just gonna do the rest of this naked. We were already inside and I decided I could solve the problem by taking my pants off in the men's toilets, throwing them out the door. How's this solving anything? Oh no, I literally spoke to, so could not have spoken sooner. So she could deliver them to him and he could wear them into the club while I waited in the toilets in my undies. He'd give my pants back Fucking hell, you'd be good at a prison escape, wouldn't you, mate? Perfect plan. See, you even talk like one of the characters. Unfortunately, the security guard standing outside the toilet saw the pants flying out the bathroom. Ah, except for one small glitch. He immediately threw me out. Lucky he allowed me to put my pants back on first. Yeah, that is lucky, because I'm waiting for the inevitable story about... Come with me! Oh, oh I'm pissing on myself! Throwing a box of Warhammer on the stage... Come on, you've never been in a club in your life. Very politely, and to the side in between acts, didn't want to actually interrupt anything during a metal show. <laughs> that is the only club situation where that is socially acceptable. A place where no one in the room has any social skills. Costs $180 for the box of plastic. That's... I'm sorry, man. Can I just apologise? on behalf of humanity. You did nothing wrong in that situation. Clearly, you are from the tyranny of Wraith and you were showing your respect. I think I don't know anything about the law. I just pretend to for clicks. I was doing shots with an American guy visiting Sydney. Ah, a cultural exchange. Used him to get free drinks because he was drunk and very generous. <laughs> There's a very little difference between your relationship and Ronald Reagan's and Bob Hawks, is there? We had about six shots, but on that last one, he gulped it down, immediately turned to his left and projectile vomited on three girls dancing next to the bar. Yeah, there's no way out of arguing your way out of a bouncer's grasp at the best of times. I really don't think that they're going to be appreciating that. I was cackling all the way out to George Street. I know, but look, my entire YouTube career, I've always been wondering this in the back of my mind. Why is this <laughs> guaranteed to laugh? Like this video if you enjoyed the effort. Subscribe if you want to see more of that because there will be. I got kicked out for being crammed in a bathroom stall with three other people for no reason whatsoever. There has to be a reason. What are you? Just a bunch of da-da absurdists. <laughs> you gotta tell me. Please. <laughs> See, I told you there'd be more. You're lost if you didn't press subscribe. I didn't get kicked out. Then don't comment! But I pushed my mate into a private school's formal after party function area roped off with security guards and the like. <laughs> he proceeded to grow a shit. Dark turn. 
Get smacked by a boyfriend and promptly kicked out by security like a phoenix from the ashes. Heroes. By scaling the outside wall and then jumping back in from the roof of the beer garden. What is with all these superhuman things? I am finally starting to believe that that movie that Bruce Willis was in was based on a true story. Was it? He bought another drink and was again kicked out. Jesus, that bounce is playing human whack a well. Marched back in triumph toward the guy that punched him. What a foot in the door kind of guy. If only he took that attitude into sales instead of getting hammered. Thanks heaps, Hitler. The first time I had pingers, I kept singing pig it, pig it, pig it at the top of my voice. You can't. Oh, so you became a sound alarm of the reason that you should be kicked out. What a come down that would have been, hey. Taking communication to its most basic form. About 10 years ago in the library nightclub in Perth. Hang on, those words don't make sense. The library nightclub. What? In Perth. N no, now it makes sense. Yeah, of course you guys use that place as... Well, what else is a library for? Personal trainer lady and I started chatting and after figuring out she taught a class at the gym on squats and me working with horses was constantly squatting all day long. Oh, you did have something in common, cool. We decided to have a squat off. <laughs> and whoever won would buy drinks for the other for the rest of the night. It got so intense. That is a bet you don't want to lose. That could be very expensive. Two 20-something year old chicks that were pissed and half naked at this point, and it went on for so long, we cleared the dance floor and they had to turn the lights on and kick us and all our supporters who are all your supporters? What, you all had 12 disciples? I can't believe in you. You had supporters? Because people were putting side bets on. That is impressive. You created an industry. I wager 15 Perth bucks on the centaur. Man, how good would Perth bucks be? Bon Scott, Gina Reinhardt, Kevin Parker, and on the $100 bill, the guy on 7 News. He's the most famous. Me and my mate decided to carry a couch down from the smokers. <laughs> Why Why did you voluntarily want to do that? You can't be removalists to like your job that much. Down past the bar, onto the dance floor where we pushed the crowd aside so we could sit right in front of the DJ. You two are Australian beavers and butthead, aren't you? Getting it there took ages. I would imagine so! As we would put it down and act inconspicuous every few steps so the security wouldn't notice. Oh, very smart removalists, it's rare. Once we had to take it to the dance floor, we managed to enjoy our achievement for about 30 seconds before security came over emitting a very threatening aura. We just said, seems fair, we'll just see ourselves out. God, you guys are the most reasonable miscreants I've ever heard about. And left with our hands up. Why, they're not, I don't think they'll shoot you for it. While they angrily followed us. Great time, shout out to Rick's backyard. Well done. Hard boys, I salute you for rearranging furniture in a rearranged context. It's thinking outside the box. Was it necessary though? I was Snapchatting myself breaking pint glasses in the toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very stupid thing to do, but okay. The bar manager, some dweeb I went to school with, <laughs> this story keeps getting better, saw me walk out with a glass, hear a glass break, saw me walk out laughing and looking at my phone. <laughs> he told me not to do it again. He is a dweeb, he's too scared to pull the trigger. But he looked back at the cameras and found I'd done it seven or eight times and approached me, red of the face, and banned me from the place for a year. Man, that must have been hard for that guy. Hey, the dweeb is evolving. Little did he know that I was moving overseas the next day anyway. Man, I really feel sorry about this trend of high school where he never gets the upper hand, not once. As so I finished my game of pool, moved to the UK, came back two years later and enjoyed it like nothing ever happened. Look, this is very rare, Nathan, that I say this, but you are clearly such a chad. How's that? Doing stupid shit at an Australian nightclub, just being like, eh, it's practice for my gap year. Going over the UK, which is just what all Australian chads do, because they're like, yeah, yeah, man, I've got the same action from neighbours, and it's fucked. And then you came back. Look, I think that we've all been looking for something to fill the vacuum after houses became too expensive to fulfill the Australian dream of renovating houses. Should be just living that man's life. That is perfect. That is a 10 out of 10 Aussie. I went with a beanie and jacket on. I left them in there and I went to grab them and I was barred entry. This is because earlier I tried to shave my hair, but the shaver broke halfway. So the front of my head was 
a one and the back half was shaggy long. God damn, what are the chances that it stops at the exact point that you look like a bad guy from Mad Max 2? My new look exposed without my jacket of beanie made me look like a demented pea head. <laughs> so the bouncer wouldn't let me in. I got so frustrated with him that I punched him in the nose slash lip. Fucking hell, everyone's from Perth, obviously. You didn't have to say anything more than that. Bam! That's just our friendly handshake. You're lucky you didn't piss me off, otherwise this would be up your ass. I didn't have any plan after, so I kind of just stood there and then got tackled by another bouncer and then eventually was arrested. Cry laugh emoji. Man, everyone is so proud of acting like a complete dickhead in the club, aren't they? I am. Not enough to tell anyone about it, I don't need that out there. Well, that was great, I really liked that one. It really did show off our Australian spirit to our international viewers, didn't it? It was all of the things that make Australia great. Punching bouncers, being cheap, vomiting a lot. It had it all. So, make sure that you like, make sure you subscribe. We will see you in the next installment of one of these comic things where we sit there and go, Why that is so stupid, I totally would have never done that myself if I was in that exact situation. See you next time.